Hello everyone, my name is Diane and welcome to Didi Dye's Crafty Corner. Today I want to share with you a project that I made. This is not a um, process video, I'm just going to share it with you. So this is this week's project for the Not Too Shabby Shop and I just think it turned out stinking adorable. Adorbed, so I can't wait to share it with you. I kind of sat down and did it all at once and once I got started It went so fast. I never even turned the camera on But I still wanted to share it with you guys and show you what I used because both of these items are still in stock right now Over at the not too shabby shop. So what I used was the scallops card uh, The scallops box card pop-up dies by lawn fawn so this was that set of dies that you use to um, make the pop-up scalloped box card. Super cute. Um, I, truth be told, this is the second time I own this because the first time I sold it off and then I repurchased it from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, because I, although I learned how to make one on my own, it's just so much easier to do it this way, right? I really enjoy having all the little pieces and no measuring, no thinking. So I did repurchase it. So I love it, love it, love it, love it. And then this was that little stamp set from the um, greeting farm, the happy to see you from the greeting farm. Absolutely adorable. So I combined these two things and I made a box card pop up box card. Super cute. So now let me show you what I did. Then I'll just kind of explain to you what I did. But like I said, both of these, this one, there's only one of these left. You can use the code um, Crafty Corner to save 10% or Jamie to save 10%. And also I'll leave it below. There might be a 15% off as well going on right now. If there is, I'll leave that below as well. So those are the two items that I used. I did stamp it out so you guys can kind of see it. I just wanted to see, this is when I was trying to see how it stamped out. It stamps out very good. So the sentiments are um, a job well done. Happy to see you. I'm so jelly. I had a little issue with the stamping out of the I'm so jelly. I only got it to stamp out one time right. Um, and then I just love the sea creatures completely. By the way, that was using a block, and you guys know I suck at using the block. So the cute little whale, the jellyfish, the octopus, which I did not use, the oyster with the little pearl with the smiley face, adorbs, the shark, the seahorse, the turtle, the crab, and the starfish. So cute. Plus you get the little greenery and the coral to go with it. Super, super cute, stamped out beautifully and colored up beautifully. So now let me show you what I made and then I'll kind of explain what I did. So here's my little box. Fits into an A2 size envelope. I did cover the outside with um, the entire outside. What I did is I cut the box completely once and then I cut it again. So I have a box and I slid it right into another box and I'll show you what I mean by that. So here is my little project. Super, super cute, right? So these little panels that you're seeing on the outside of the box right here, this was all done with Distress Oxide inks and a stencil, a wave stencil. So those are the little square pieces. But if you've noticed, there's blue behind that. This is the actual, um, let me just show you. I made this super, super sturdy. So this is 110 pound cardstock plus lawn fawn paper plus 110 pound cardstock panels on this. So this is super, super heavy duty, um, very, very chipboard like if you will. And yet it will still fit into an envelope. And I did it that way because this is going to be for Pukachu. This is his um, graduation from pre-pre-kindergarten, if you will, um, if you guys don't know. My little Pukachu has sensory issues, so he's in a special class to gear him up for preschool. And um, this was his very first year, so he has finished this first course. He's got another course to do next year. And um, yeah, then he'll be going into kindergarten. So I made him this as his little graduation card, if you will. It says, yippee, congrats, a job well done. 
And as I told you guys, dinosaurs, whales, and sharks are his jam right now. So I colored them up with Copics. I did distress inking on here, and um, I think it turned out super, super adorbs. So some of them I did use the clear acetate to pop them up. And on some of them, I just left them down so it looks like they're in the waves. So I did make waves out of this paper. As you can see, there are little waves. They're sitting on little waves, different kinds. And um, yeah, so that is this week's project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. I think it turned out adorable, absolutely adorable. And when you close it up, just like that. Super cute. Mine closes up better like this way, though. Super cute, right? And then you just pop it open. Super, super adorable. Just like that. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go on over and see Jamie at the Not Too Shabby Shop. I will leave all the links below. And um, if you would like for me to do a process video on how I put the box together, um, just let me know, and I'll be happy to do that at a later date. So... I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.